what's up you guys my name is Vivian from the paper letter blog and today I'm here with a new flip book swap it's 30 degrees so you know summer is like hello here I am smacking me in the face sweating like a madman but I still wanted to film this video uh, because I have been postponing filming it even though I'm very excited and I just thought I would get started right now so in about a minute or something I'm going to do that thing where I cut the audio from the video file so then I can speed through the video you can see me craft but you can still hear me talk so you won't have to look at my sweaty face anymore but before I do that I uh, want to too quickly say something um, basically Whenever I do these videos, I always start from scratch. I just sit down, you know, the way I would usually craft. I just sit down, grab my supplies, think of some ideas and do something. But then I had this idea for something new that I want to try. I, I don't know if I'm going to put this in the, in, the, in the title of this video, but it's basically like an exploding envelope. I have no idea how else I'm going to call it. Um, if you have a good name suggestion, please let me know. But I wanted to see if I could fit it in an envelope and what sizes I would need, blah, blah, blah. So the only thing I did is I cut the paper to the size that I am going to use. Um, so I didn't make anything yet. You didn't miss anything yet. I just cut down this envelope and I cut some pieces of paper out. Okay, so I made myself a cup of coffee and I'm now just sitting down, crafting. I'm already sort of regretting this because it's so hot. I would rather do nothing i guess but um you know i always love crafting i love making these videos and i'm just very excited to send this out i'm going to tell you a little bit about this swap um i am doing this swap with a swapbot user i don't know how to pronounce this nat xcv not tixcv seriously you guys are killing me with these uh, usernames but anyway she messaged me on instagram saying hey i have a youtube channel too and she asked if i wanted to do a private swap because i've been doing a lot of private swaps lately i'm loving those and i said yes so we decided on some guidelines you know 50 grams we would make some happy meal for the other person and include some goodies which i always love <laughs> and then i started reading her profile so her her real name is nathalia which is way easier for me to pronounce so we started looking at nathalia's profile and two things that stood out for me were that she likes disney and she likes vintage there are a lot more things she likes like pink turquoise all these other styles but these are just sort of stuck stuck in my head and uh, this idea started to form of actually combining Disney with vintage and I don't know how this is going to work out but I <laughs> The idea won't leave my head. I'm actually really excited to try this and that is what I'm going to do today. I'm also going to make this sort of exploding envelope. I've done this once before but then I, I didn't have a scoreboard, I didn't have anything uh, professional so then it was kind of messy and I'm now hoping to make it pretty as well. And then in the middle of this thingy I want to make a waterfall card and I would love to explain to you how you do that but uh, this is also my first time making one and for a tutorial I'm going to just send you to Creative Rowie's channel, she's also a Dutch YouTuber but she did a tutorial on how to make these waterfall cards and I think that it is a way better idea if you check out her video instead of looking at my clumsy one. Okay. I always forget my coffee and now it's cold but that's fine. Um, by the way, if you hear any random noises, that's probably from outside. And maybe you can also hear the fan that I have pointed at my legs because I am literally melting. I'm gonna turn it off just in case you can hear it. So I will, whoops. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through what I did. 
Um, first, I, I decided to uh, work on the page on the right, on the little flap on the right. I used this vintage paper that I have. It's a, a Dutch vintage uh, fairy tale book. It's very pretty. I love the pages, I love the font. And I used that to make some sort of a background, you know, just to make it stand out a little bit more from the pink. And then I used um, a, a vintage picture, or actually a printout of a picture, vintage picture that I got in a swap. I used that uh, on there. And I cut out this mini <laughs> mini mouse head um, from a tag. I cut out the word mini and a little rose, and then I stuck that all on top of there. And I used some animal dots to decorate the page some more. And I quite like that, it looks really pretty. And then on the left, I am working on this little pocket from this paper that says mini mouse. Really cute. <laughs> Again, I'm gonna say cute a lot in this video probably. And I made a little pocket so that in there I could stick two tags for washi tape samples. Uh, I thought that worked out pretty well. I, I made this waterfall card. And um, I'm going to say it once more. I cannot really do a tutorial on this. I really, really advise you to go to Creative Rowie's channel. I will put the link in the description box down below because she can really explain the do and don'ts. Because, you know, this is my first time making one. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is decorate these little pages and then, you know, put some goodies in, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I'm just testing something out because it's so hot and the sun is pointed directly at our a living room window. So during summer days, it gets kind of like a sauna in here. So what I did now is I closed the blinds and then I looked at my camera, but it actually looks kind of okay. So my question for you is, when I film like this, is it too dark? Is it okay? Do you like it better when there's more light or do you actually prefer this? Um, I know that this will probably not be a standard, but it's not always possible for me to film during, in the morning. So, you know, I'm just quickly checking because I, I would really like to finish this and send it off to her, but um, I cannot promise anything. Okay, so my battery died and I don't know where it cut me off, but anyway, I glued this pretty, hmm, I don't know how you call this, it's pom-pom garland, pom-pom garland, I glued this pretty pom-pom garland down on here as well as these fly, as well as these little sticky notes and I think it looks so cute. Also when you close it, let me close it. So when you close it, uh, it just gives a nice finished look to the page, or at least I think so. And now the final things I have to do, I am going to, let me put the tags in there. I don't know if I can add more, but if I can add more, I will probably add them directly in the envelope because otherwise this exploding envelope is just going to be way too full. Does this fit? Oh yeah, it just fits. Um, so what I have to do is just decorate this top page and then after that I have this flap, that flap and I'm gonna do a little bit on the outside as well.
this this twine will just keep this exploding envelope I kind of like that name we'll just keep this exploding envelope shut until it arrives hopefully <laughs> and like I said we were doing 50 grams uh, a swap of 50 grams I know to some of you it may sound weird that I set a weight guideline but I just like knowing you know sort of what we agree to and that is well, if, if I do a swap with someone I don't know, like let's say like a public swap, then I like to know that I'm going to receive the same amount that I'm sending. But uh, but of course, when I do a private swap like this, it's a little bit different because um, I'm actually always very afraid that I'm going to be the one who sends the smaller swap. So when I do a private swap like this, I just like to set weight guidelines so that I know that I won't be disappointing the other person. So we have this swap for 50 grams and I'm going to decorate the envelope again. I will be doing that in a different video. <laughs> I'm trying out this thing where I do envelope decorating videos. Let me know if you guys are into that. And I will try to decorate the envelope in the same style as this. And then I had some, uh, I picked out some of these really beautiful uh, vintage papers that I also used in this, uh, in this flip book, oh gee, in this envelope, exploding envelope, I don't know, and I'm going to send this and I might, I don't know if I'm going to have any grams left because they're kind of strict that I really cannot go over 50 grams or I'll have to, or they'll just send it back to my house, but if I have some space left, I might even try sending her, her some more goodies, but you know, I'll just have to see how that goes. Anyway, I'm really pleased with how this worked out. I really like the way it looks. I like these golden embellishments on the front and I hope you guys like it as much as I do. And I hope of course Natalia is going to like it. That's the most important part. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so because I really, really, really want to see this community grow. Uh, if you have any suggestions for a video or whatever, please, um, you know, feel free to comment. I'm sorry, my brain is a bit fried. Oh, and if you're still here, I always like knowing who of you are watching until the end. So if you're still here, please comment your favorite Disney ch Disney character in the description box down below. I would say mine is probably that little frog. No, it's not a frog. That little chameleon that is entangled. I don't know his name. He has a funny name, but uh, he's probably my favorite Disney character. I know he's not really a character, but yeah. I don't know. He's just my favorite. Anyways, anyways, anyways. I'm leaving it at this. I really hope you enjoyed this. Blah, blah, blah. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.